Hey, welcome everybody. This video, we're gonna be talking about return statements. So specifically, we have this method in this class we created, and it's just printing to the console. And although that works, sometimes we're not going to want our code to just pollute the console like that, because we want to make the most versatile methods. Therefore, we should probably just generate some fancy string and give that back to the caller. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. Then the caller can decide if it wants to output it to the console, write it to a text file, or use that in some other expression, or whatever. We don't just want to assume they want to write it to the console unless we make it super clear in the title, such as output to console, or something like that. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to clear this off. off. We're not going to need this loop anymore, I'm just going to make one output. And I'm going to make it a little bit cleaner, so I'm going to say something like, Hi, my name is, and put a period at the end. And I forgot a plus sign. Make sure you put plus signs between everything to concatenate. You can also bring it down to the next line if you need, like that. Now, instead of outputting this using print line, we're just going to get rid of that method call, and we are going to say return. This is gonna yell at us, right? Because it says void methods cannot return a value. That's what this void means. It's, it means that the method is going to do something for us rather than returning the value back to us to do something with it. So if we want to do a return, we need to say what type of data we're returning, such as a string, which is what we're doing in this case. By the way, I got some kittens and they're in the background freaking out and fighting and smashing into stuff, so apologies <laughs> if it's distracting. Now that we clearly stated that it's returning a string, it looks happy, we're getting a little issue down here, let me just take a look at it. I think I just have an extra curly brace somewhere, so this needs to go here, and then this here, and then that's gone. Sorry about that. Let's clean this up, beautiful. Now, from the caller, here's how we're gonna use that. We're gonna get rid of that number there, and we're going to assign this to a string, like so. Then we can decide what we want to do with that string because we know it's just a string variable. We can do whatever we want. Wherever a string would be expected, we can pass this message. But just because it's nice and easy, we'll put this out to the console. Just pass message in there, run it, and there we go. So this is much more dynamic, and now you probably have a pretty good understanding of return statements.